Welcome back. So one more thing about HTTP right here before we continue. What is this from body thing right here and what is a body actually in HTTP requests? The body in both a request and a response of HTTP is the place where you put data you want to send forward and get back from a server. And um, right now a GET request actually don't have, when you read data, you don't have a body in the GET request. You do have body in the GET response. So that means that when you're sending something with a GET request to the backend, you will not be able to send body data. But you, might, uh, you, you can actually send back body data when you're getting the response. And that makes perfect sense because a GET request is only there for reading data or retrieving data. It's not for manipulating data at all. So that's why if you do a GET request, you don't have a body in there. And that means in my case, I would never use the from body up here because there would not be a body uh, in my request actually. There wouldn't be any information in the body area of the HTTP request. We will actually use parameters later, but let's just keep that out of the uh, scope right now. Let's go back. So that means I cannot use a GET request in order to send body data to the backend. However, both POST, PUT and DELETE are actually built so that we can put in form data or any type of data inside the body of the HTTP request. And I want to just show you how that actually works inside our post that we already have. Again, think of it this way. In order to create a new object, right? In order to create something new in your backend, you need to send some data about the object you want to create. Makes perfect sense. Now, in order to do that, we need to somehow be able to send some data to the backend. And actually, let's just have a look right here. They have an example here, but what they're sending is actually XML. And um, that's, of course, all fine and dandy, but what I'm using is JSON. So we cannot use this example one to one. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into Swagger again, where we were before. And here I'm going to show you the request body and what's actually inside that request body right here. Notice here is a request body and think of the requ request body as something that's hidden inside our beautiful envelope right here. It's inside this guy. So it's not readable from uh, the mailman who kind of gets the letter. He cannot read what's inside. It's hidden, right? It's inside the envelope. So that's what the body is kind of hiding right now. And here's what we can put in again. I already talked about that. But what's new is by pressing command option I, I'm in Safari by the way, I'll put some um, shortcuts for Chrome and for Edge, etc. in the in the video so you can see them if you want to. I think it's F12 on Windows and pretty much any browser will open this developer tools down here. On developer tools normally you have some kind of tab called network down here. Here's the network tab. So that's actually where it shows every request you do in your system. And let's just for now clear this out. There's a small delete button. Also you'll have a cancel button somewhere in your, in your view so you can get rid of this. And now I'll actually try and execute this request right here and you'll see the actual request that's being sent to the backend. And here it is, the backend request. And let's just have a look at that. Let's see if we can zoom a little bit. There we go. Um, here's the backend request, the one I just executed in order to create a new video. First of all, again, we can see here's the URL, happy days. Here's the return code, oh, it was a 200, okay. And here's the request itself. Look at all this beautiful header data right here that we have. It's a post request, I can see that right there. And if you go further down, here's the response. Now, if we go even further down, there's actually also some request data down here. Let's try and expand that. And this is where I see my body data. This is where the data is hidden. And just think of it this way. The HTTP request wraps this into the body. And then when we come to our backend, automatically the framework says, I would like to get some data from this post request and I'm looking inside the body of the request. So I'm getting the data from the body. So that's how we're getting the request data in here. But how do we actually see what we're getting back? And again, if we go back to this view right here, you'll see I have the preview and here I can see the request data inside the body, but I can actually also see the response data here if I want to. And there we go. Now you can see what I'm getting back. I'm getting back ID of tree. Here's the title and here's the Shango right now. So that's the object I'm getting back. So that's notice you have both a body in the request that you send to the backend. And then you also get body data back in the response if there is any body data, of course. So that's how it works. That's the from body right here. So now you know how from body works. And that's just another step in the direction of learning everything about the web API inside the .NET Core framework. So see you next time. We'll have even more fun. Bye bye.